What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. And finally, after a long wait, Samsung has released the security patch for Galaxy S25 series. Now this is the S25 Ultra I've got here, currently running on stable One device 7 update. And I'm here in India, I have just received the update. I think in the US and a few other regions, you would have already received the update for the Galaxy S25 series. And that is the security patch for February 2025. Now let's go ahead, let me open the settings here and tap on software update and tap on download and install you can see we have got this brand new banner here which is for the one UI 7 and in the change log it says overall stability of functions improved the security of your device has been improved and then we have got the standard points here with device stability improvements and bug fixes new or enhanced features for the improvements to performance and let me scroll down here let's see the version this is ending with AYB4 and the size is actually pretty big more than the regular size that we get for a security patch this is 666.08 MB and the security patch is for 1st February 2025 I will I have already downloaded the update by the way I will go ahead and restart the device now now let me just quickly go to the settings again I will go to the software update and uh, the last update it is already installed and I actually do not see any new features as of now but if I find something new I will definitely let you know guys now as usual let's open a few applications and see how the phone is behaving I don't see any major starters here, but you can see this lag. This is mainly because of the do-it-yourself home screen feature on the home up module. So let me just go ahead and disable that feature. Let's go to home up here and I will disable home up. Now let's see how the applications open. First, let me clear all the applications. Let's start with the camera. So it's quite fast, even the animation is very smooth. I think the default animation itself is pretty good. We don't really need to customize it on home up module. I think it's very, very polished here. And I don't really think that we need to customize this at all. Let me close all. It's fine. No status at all. Let me open the quick panel. Notification panel. All pretty good. Actually, it feels really good to use this phone, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, because this is very, very smooth. Now let's go ahead, let's go to the settings here. Let's check out the Google Play system update. I will go to the security and privacy and tap on updates. And it is showing October 2024 Google Play system update. And I did not get any update after that. Let's check for it now. Yep, we have got an update here for the Google Play system. It says latest security update from Google. Update now to keep safe and improve device stability. So you need to make sure every month you check the update, the Google Play system update and download and install it. Let me tap on download and install it. It's just about 12 MB. Let's see this is for which month. I'll have to restart the phone. Now the phone has been restarted. Let's go to the settings again and see for which specific month we have got the Google Play system update. I will tap on security and privacy and let's go to updates and it is still showing October 2024. I don't know for what reason. Let me just try to check this out again. Check for updates and it is still showing me 1st October 2024. You guys let me know whether you have got any other latest Google Play system update on your S25 series or not. Drop a comment. This is a pretty old update. I think by now Google should have provided the latest update for the Galaxy S25 series. These are the latest devices and we are still sitting on October 2024 Google Play system update. Now let's go to the Galaxy store. If there is anything new here, let's check if there is any new update. We have got an update for personal data intelligence. This update I received before the security patch. Let me tap on this. This is also a huge update that we have here and it is a very important update. As you can see here, the size is about 200 MB for an application. And in the description, you can see it says personal data intelligence PDI is a feature that suggests useful actions and information through various routes on your Galaxy phone based on your phone usage patterns and on device information. So as you can see in the screenshot, it is more to do with your keyboard messages, settings, suggested applications, etc. So the suggestions that we get on the keyboard or the suggested applications or the suggestions on the settings, all that is made possible by this specific engine the personal data intelligence so do go ahead and update this application as well if you have it that's about it that's all i have here in this video i hope you have got the update do let me know in the comment section if you received it and also let me know how is your phone performing how is the battery performance doesn't matter which phone you have got drop a comment and let me know 
That's about it. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. Do not forget to hit that like button and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Wallverse. Yesterday, I added about 20 free wallpaper collections. Go ahead and check it out. You can download wallpapers for free with ads. And if you go premium, you can get rid of the ads and also unlock some beautiful collections. Go ahead and check it out. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.